So please take some time here. We're going to do a bit of calculator work, and we're going to start with this 8 to the 1 third. So it gets confusing when you've got these fractional indices, okay? But deal with the top part as just being like the exponent, and we'll deal with the bottom part as being like the root, okay? And if I got rid of the root for a second, I'd just be happy that that's 8 to the 1, and then I'll deal with the 1 third afterwards, okay? So I'm going to change this to uh, 8 to the 1, and then I'm going to deal with this cube root afterwards. So the 3 is really the root. So it's coming in here, okay? So I know this uh, 8 to the 1 is just 8, so I'll get rid of that. And now I'm looking at the cube root of 8. So how do I do that in a calculator? What does it really mean? It means what number multiplied by itself 3 times gives me 8. And I've introduced a graphing calculator already before, and I'm going to bring it back again to something called Desmos. Now Desmos is an online calculator. You can use whatever you want. I have a Casio one on my desk here, and uh, text instruments, all kinds of different ones. But here's one to give an idea. If I'm looking for a scientific calculator, I'm going to go to desmos.com and I'm going to grab this scientific calculator to give you an example, okay? So they all have different ways of doing things. They have an X to the Y button or an A to the B button. But if I wanted to look at this cube root of 8, I could look at doing this nth root. Sometimes you need to use a shift key if you're in a different kind of calculator. So the nth root is looking for a value here for 3. So there's the nth root. I use my arrow just to move forward and then I'm going to put the 8 here. My answer pops up on the side here too. So the cube root of 8 is 2. I could work backwards and say 2 to the power of 3 should be also equal 8. So they're kind of inverse of each other. In fact, this, so the cube root of 8 or 2 to the power of 3 are both doing the same thing. So I know my answer here is 2. Okay, let's try the next one. 49 to the 1 half. And I know you're going to be tempted not to put this power of 1 because the power of 1 doesn't do anything. But later on, I'm going to have numbers in here. So you got to watch out that they may be coming up later on. Okay, so we're looking at the square root of 49. So again, let's grab that Desmos calculator again. And I can do it a couple different ways. So for the square root, I could use this one, square root of 49, and I get 7. Or I could have used the nth root and made sure I used the 2 here, 49, because it's the exact same thing. Mathematicians are lazy. We're too lazy to put the 2 in here sometimes. But it means the same thing. So square root or the second root is the same thing. So square root of 49 is 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. Okay, I'm going to skip uh, to the next one, a quarter to the uh, one half. So it's getting a little bit trickier. So I've got a quarter to the one half. Again, I'm going to deal with them separately. It's like one to the one over four to the one. And then I'm going to deal with this root thing, the square root of two. Okay, so I'm still looking at the square root of one over four, because one to the one over four to the one is just one over four. And then I'm going to break it down and say, you know what, I want to do them top and bottom separately. So I can do the, put the square root of one on the top and the square root of four on the bottom. Okay? So that two, I should have left the two in there, but I got lazy because I, like, I know two means uh, it should be in there. So now the square root of one is one and the square root of four is two. So I'm left down here. The square root of a quarter is a half because a half times a half is a quarter. Okay, let's try some of the harder ones then. 8 over 27, so now I've got numbers on the top and the bottom there. I'm still only using a 1 for my root, but that's okay. So now I've got 8 over 27 to the 1 third. Again, the 1 kind of parks itself there, 8 over 1, 8 to the 1 over 27 to the 1. And then I'm going to take the cube root, and I'm going to do them top and bottom separately and make life, life easier. Okay, so now I've got the 8 to the power of 1 is just 8, and the cube root of 8, we've already seen that one, is 2. The cube root of 27, we haven't seen that one yet, so I'm going to bring it over here, uh, bring my calculator back again. What is the cube root of 27? So I'm going to use the cube root of 27, and I get the answer of 3. So I'm down to 2 thirds. Okay. Now Desmos is pretty cool because it can even go ahead and do the whole question at once if I wanted to. I could have used some brackets and said, okay, bracket 8 over 27, close the bracket. And then I'm going to do that to the power of uh, bracket 1 divided by 3, close the bracket. I get this horrible looking decimal, 0 0.6666666667. Okay, so I wonder if I could then look, is 2 thirds the same thing? So what's 2 divided by 3? It's still 0 0.66667. So I really don't want that ugly looking decimal. I'd rather have 2 thirds. Because if I use 0 0.67 or 0 0.667 or 0 0.6667, I'm doing some rounding, so I'd rather really keep it as the decimal. That's going to be important in the assignment. Okay. 
All right? So 1 16th to the negative 1 half. Again, let's do a little bit at a time. So the negative just means my fraction could be reversed if I want to, 16 over 1 to the positive 1 half, right? The negative just means I can flip the fraction if I want to. And now I'm going to deal with it top and bottom separately. 16 to the 1, and we're going to take the square root over 1 to the 1, and we're going to take the square root, right? That 2 is hitting into the square root, and the 1 is staying where it was. It's like if I covered up the 2, it just looks like 16 to the 1, okay? So now the square root of 16 is 4, because 4 times 4 is 16. The square root of 1 is 1. I can leave it like this, or I could say 4 over 1 is just 4, so I'll make it look a little bit prettier this way, okay? I like to put a box around the bottom as I go as well. I know there's a long video, sorry, but we'll go through the last one then. So careful because we're adding, we're not worrying about trying to multiply powers or add powers, anything like that with bases the same. Uh, so we've got one to the one, and we're gonna take the square root of that, plus one to the one, and we're gonna take the cube root of that. One's a funny number, one to the power of one is one, the square root of one is one. One to the one is one, and the cube root of one is one. And if you're not sure, double check that one for the cube root or the square root of one. So if we want to do like the, whoops, let's do a new, new value here. The cube root of one is still just one, okay? So we have one plus one or two is our final answer. I like putting a box around to say I'm done.